So uh, Joe Bongiovanni is going to speak about the National Commission. And um, we've had over the last 20 or the 20th century, a number of attempts to have national commissions uh, and to bring the conversation out, uh, much like we are doing uh, today and tomorrow and Friday. So Joe, please have the floor and, and, um, and thank you once again, Joe, for uh, uh, spearheading something. So can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay, so um, I just posted uh, the link um, um, uh, from the Alliance's webs uh, website of the, uh, of the uh, National Monetary Commission resolution that, that they pat that was adopted uh, calling for the National Monetary Commission so that anybody can go there right now and take a look at, um, at take a look at uh, what's there. And I need you to give me just one minute because I got to have to find my um, I have to find my um, uh, my notes that I that I put together. I wasn't uh, quite realizing when Sue might might get done there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, it should be right in here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Um, so, well, well, with regard to this, you know, first of all, I want to, you know, uh, thank uh, the people that worked with me when I was uh, the committee uh, on the committee for the alliance to uh, prepare the resolution for the uh, for the board of directors to consider. And um, Howard Marks and uh, Tom Wilda, I'm not sure if they're both here, or, you know, at this moment or not, but to thank them because. This is, what 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 you have there, if you go to look at it, is the result of the work that uh, that the committee did that uh, uh, you know came to be the resolution. Um, <clears throat> so I want to talk first a little bit about the purpose of the resolution, and I want to talk about it at this uh, you know as a preliminary matter because I, I hear a lot of people talking about how do we get there from here. And um, you know, it was it was to me, you know, um, you know, an important uh, consideration um, uh, on the on behalf of the on the part of the uh, of the alliance to be thinking about whether or not we can get from where we are today with this impossible debt-based money system of the bankers who control all the money and therefore control all the politics. And control and control basically everything that's going on in our worlds, and to get to a, a transition that that includes get the Need Act being passed and having public money and having public money issued, <clears throat> and and uh, and the <clears throat> the large discussion around this is that maybe a National Monetary Commission would be an interim step. And I want to remind, uh, uh, I guess I'll remind everybody except Uli, because I don't think Uli's here right now, but, but I, th this is the kind of a thing that gets to address what Uli was talking about. How do you make the connection between getting from here to there with all the people who are ignorant about it? And my idea is the best way to do it is through a National Monetary Commission. Um, uh, now, National Monetary Commission is one of those uh, eye of the beholder kind of things, you know. Um, you know, the, the, this beholder, you know, we could we could we could make sure that coming out of this, all of the work of informing and educating all of the people all of the time uh, can be done, because a National Monetary Commission can have any can have any uh, consideration of any aspect of anything to do with it. So, um, so that's just my, you know, kind of throwing that out there as a bridge from where we are to where we need to go is how we proposed the National Monetary Commission and the board adopted the resolution. Um, <clears throat> so if you could, if, if, uh, if people, if people are reading through the structure of the resolution is quite, um, is quite simple. Um, it, it calls upon the, uh, the Congress of the United States to establish a National Commission of Inquiry into the monetary system, 
to see that it is enabled and established with adequate funding and power and authority, including, including everything to inquire and consider the alternative um, measures and uh, to ensure that a monetary system of 100% public ownership, like we talk, as proposed in the NEED Act, is among the alternatives inquired, and then forced to, to, to call upon the Congress to ensure that all the improvements that the National Monetary Commission might put forward are uh, further the Constitution's purposes that set forth in its preamble uh, with regard to um, forming a more perfect union, et cetera, et cetera. So, we, so, so that's, that's the introduction and the purpose of the resolution. The resolution itself is stark and frank, if you don't mind me putting it that way. It's the first whereas in the resolution says, whereas the present private Federal Reserve banking system has repeatedly produced massive unjust economic outcomes for the American people ongoing to this day in spades, okay, um, who have the exclusive authority to issue all the national money. So the economic incomes are injurious to the people who have the authority to issue the money. Of course, they have to act through the Congress to get the laws passed, but the Constitution is what gave us that authority and also have the authority to determine what's legal tender and who issues all legal tender money. So in other words, in other words, we have the constitutional basis. I was going to talk about this, you know, more uh, tomorrow, but to, to do this stuff. And we say uh, all legal power over national money is granted as the supreme right of we the people, a sovereign prerogative that's never been given up by the people, but which has been abrogated via the congressional delegation of our money issuing powers to the private member banks of the Federal Reserve banking system. So that to me was a, uh, uh, well, I, well, I'll, I, I, will, I will say it as a little coup that we, got that, that we got that language passed in this resolution and it speaks to the commitment of the Alliance Board with regard to achieving uh, you know, the purpose of, of the Alliance. So that was, that was in, the, in the first uh, 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 whereas. And the, and, the, and the rest of it goes down to, um, uh, you know, to, to say the, how critical it has been over the, over the ensuing years that we've had the Federal Reserve Banking System, the existing private debt-based money system has failed to establish any fair economic playing field. It's unable to protect our common wealth and it's unable to protect our natural resources from destruction. And those major failures mark the systemic breakdown of a modern economy. And as was recognized by Dr. Hyman Minsky, who a favorite of the M MMTers, uh, leading him to call for the establishment of a National Monetary Commission in the 21st century, already in 1994, in one of his working papers from the Levy Institute, working paper number 127. So that's referenced right, in, right within the resolution. Um, and then it goes on to say, that the financing requirements of the nation's social, ecological, infrastructural, and other great economic needs, including the Green New Deal, cannot be met by the continuation of the present private debt-based Federal Reserve Banking System, which issues all new money into circulation on the basis of credit worthiness of the borrowers and the likelihood of profits for the lenders, making the current money creation system both unjust and undemocratic through giving unique privilege to the few at the expense of the many and of the general welfare. So that's a very, I felt, you know, a very strong statement, again, on, uh, that the Alliance has taken. <clears throat> and then the next whereas says the development of a national economy that produces sufficient wealth and incomes in accordance with the needs of a democratic society now and for posterity is a matter of the highest national priority and where achieving that priority requires reforms to our monetary system including the implementation of democratic money creation and distribution mechanisms that are neither directed nor preempted by any existing existing possession of private wealth but whose distributions rather advance solely according to the proper national policy role of a just money system and a just money society 
then the Alliance for Just Money finds that the new a new monetary system, including its methods and institutions, must become available in the most timely manner possible through an immediate undertaking of the proper national consideration of our options for creating and distribution of the money by which we exchange the goods and services that are produced and are consumed in this nation. And a lot of that language is consistent with a lot of what was presented earlier by by Virginia Hammond in, in, in her call for uh, uh, for action. So we so then we say uh, now therefore be it resolved the board of directors of the alliance hereby approve and adopt the resolution on the establishment of the national commission. At the same time, it calls for the alliance members, uh, our legislative action committee and uh, our associates and supporters to do everything possible to move this call for a national commission into the full light of open, broad public policy dialogue. So, so um, you know, Dr. Dr. Minsky in his working paper um, uh, uh, at the Levy Institute, number 127, um, uh, he, he really said that, you know, the great decisions and the great, uh, the great debates have taken place all, you know, in, in a matter of deep, a deep dive into the public policy issues. And, um, and, and that's why he called for the National Monetary Commission, because the language that he used to preface the, uh, the, the, his call was that obviously the system is broken. Obviously the institutions are not providing what needs to be provided. Obviously the needs of a demo, uh, an economic democracy are not met by, the, by this debt-based money system. You don't hear much about that from the MMTers, but from my view on it, um, it's a it's of paramount importance. So that's the resolution. Now it's out there, and um, and uh, you know hopefully um, it will become a focal point uh, at some time when we're a little bit more able to um, organize ourselves in terms of in terms of uh, getting beyond the the pandemics and the lockdowns and the quarantines and the, all of the things that are going on in the world today. And we can be out there with the petition standing on the corner and get people to sign it, which there is a petition also on the uh, on the Alliance website that would provide uh, the means for anybody to go there to both review the, the resolution and the petition and to and to sign it. So 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 that's pretty much it. I'm not going to you know go go further into it. It's a it's a um, uh, it is a politically economically motivated action oriented um, move by the Alliance it lays out in stark contrast what the world is today to what the world could be. And it tries to provide a means for how to get, again, the bridge from here to there. Over, sign off, Joe. If this video is helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for new video notifications please consider donating at monetary.org forward slash donate. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter at AMI Monetary or on our website, 